The backhand push is a defensive shot played close to the table where you put backspin on the ball. The main reason you use a backhand push is to make it difficult for your opponent to attack. You're most likely to use a backhand push when the ball already has backspin on it, either from an opponent's serve or in the opening stages of a rally. Some players actually have a pushing playing style where the majority of the shots they play are pushes. And this can be an effective way of playing up to a certain level, but will be less effective against more advanced players. So I prefer to coach a more attacking style of table tennis, but even attackers will need to push in quite a lot of rallies. So we need to make sure that when we do push, it's effective. So let's take a look at the technique. Here I am doing a backhand push rally. First, the stance. Yes, it's the same as the other shots we have looked at so far. Legs nice and wide, knees bent, bum out, crouching forward with our left leg slightly further forward than our right leg. If it's a really short push, you will need to step in to get closer to the ball, but then step back out again to the position you can see here. Let's look at the stroke action. My arm moves back towards my chest and then forward and slightly downwards with my arm finishing with the elbow slightly bent. We don't want to contact this ball too hard or have a really long follow through as the ball will most likely fly off the end of the table. Now look at my bat angle. My playing side is facing towards the ceiling and I'm hitting underneath the ball and this is what creates backspin on the ball. The more I brush the ball, the more backspin I'll be able to generate. I'm playing this shot in front of my chest and this is always the aim for the backhand push as this increases the control we have over the ball and easily allows us to place the ball anywhere on the table. Your bat should finish in the direction you want the ball to go. To recap, when playing the backhand push, you need a low stance, you need to have your bat open with the playing surface facing upwards. Move your arm towards your chest and then forward and down, contacting underneath the ball. The more you brush it, the more backspin you will generate. You want to play the shot in front of your body and you want quite a short follow through with the bat finishing in the direction you want the ball to go. A common mistake when playing the backhand push is getting the bat angle wrong. This is quite tricky as you need to adjust your bat angle depending on how much spin is on the ball. If there's lots of backspin on the ball, your bat will need to be more open. If there's only a little bit of backspin on the ball, your bat will need to be less open. In this clip, my opponent has given me a serve with a lot of backspin on the ball but my bat is not open enough, which means I can't contact under the ball to counter their backspin and the ball goes into the net. In this next clip, my opponent serves heavy backspin again, but I have adjusted my bat angle and now I can contact under the ball and this time it goes over the net. In this clip, my opponent has given me a serve with only a little bit of backspin but this time my bat angle is too open and I end up popping the ball up in the air, giving my opponent an easy ball to attack. So with lighter backspin, your bat needs to be less open. And as you can see in this clip, my opponent serves light backspin again, but my bat angle is less open and the ball stays lower over the net. It does take time to learn what your bat angle should be when playing the backhand push. When you first start playing, it can be tricky working out how much spin is on the ball, but there are clues you can look out for. Your opponent's bat angle, the sound of the contact, the flight of the ball, but the best thing you can do is practice a lot and you'll soon start adjusting to the different levels of spin on the ball. When your consistency improves, rather than just using a straight arm, 
you can actually start using your wrist a little bit more when contacting the ball and this will help generate more backspin and to do this you need to bend your wrist backwards and snap it forwards when contacting the ball. In this training drill, we're playing a backhand push rally, but only on half a table. This is a good drill to do if your push shots keep going off the end of the table, or if you want to improve keeping your pushes really short. When you first learn this shot, it's very common to overhit. So playing on half a table will help you control the length of your stroke. Take a look at my arm movement. To keep the rally going, my stroke is really quite short with a little brush underneath the ball. That's all I need to do. Once you've done this successfully for a couple of minutes, play backhand push to backhand push on the full table, but try to keep your pushes as short as possible. In this training drill, we're practicing long backhand pushes. I put some tape on the table and our aim is for the ball to land beyond the tape. I think too often pushes land in the middle of the table and that doesn't really put your opponent under much pressure. So either keeping your pushes really short like in the previous drill or really long is going to make life harder for your opponent. To get a longer push my stroke length is just a little longer and I'm adding a bit more arm acceleration. To progress this drill turn it into a game up to 11. If your push lands short or goes off the end, then you lose the point. In this drill, we're playing a backhand push rally, but to any position on the backhand side of the table. This drill will help you improve your footwork when playing the backhand push. When players play weak, push shots is often because their feet and body are not in a good position so they have to play the shot awkwardly. So the key is to make sure you play the shot in front of your body. Notice the small movements I'm making so I can position my body behind the ball. This really helps with my control. I can keep the ball low over the net and place the ball more accurately. To make the drill more difficult you can actually play a backhand push rally on the full width of the table. You wouldn't normally play backhand pushes from the forehand side, but it is a useful way to practice your footwork. 